Welcome back to the channel of Shades of Grey Nomads, where Sue and I are sharing our travelling experiences to better inform other travellers and hopefully a bit of entertainment. We decided to head to a place called Gun Point for some beach camping. Uh oh, came in too close. Into the soft sand, but we should be out of it in a minute. Playing Robinson Crusoe was fantastic. Total seclusion until this happened. We found out some friends of ours from Bribey were holidaying in Darwin, so we headed back to Darwin. But we also wanted to stick around and watch this fantastic display of the 2022 pitch black Air Force display. We departed Darwin again, starting our journey south, stopping at Adelaide River, so we could explore Litchfield National Park. We discovered just down the road from the caravan park this beautifully maintained Adelaide River War Cemetery where all the victims from the Darwin bombing were buried. Today? Bit of a trek today, was it? Yeah, I don't think there'll be any swimming in this hole because I don't think there's nothing here. It's pretty. Nice place. You imagine what it'd be like in the rainy season. Well, we wouldn't be standing here actually. And then I fell flat on my bum and my water bottle.
finally made it back to Catherine to go through the luck your luck. Is that it? Nick Bellock National Park through the Catherine Gorge. We missed out on it last time because it was fully blocked out. also live inside here. They're tiny little horseshoe bats, Joe and people call them wallark in language, and they make a high-pitched squealing sound. For those of you in the back half of the boat, you've got a really nice example of those nests just under the overhang on our right. You can see the black hole of the entrance. So you can see from the design of those nests, those poor little It's great, it's um, beautiful, it, it's just so hard to describe, but yeah, if you get a chance, come here, it's nice and cool on the river, and we didn't see any crocodiles this time. That's right, that's, okay. that's fine, we've seen enough crocodiles. Yep. Anyway, now we're uh, probably just heading south further to head up in, uh, into Mount Vale Springs, and Uluru. Wish us luck. Yeah, wish us <laughs> luck. Here's a bit of history, Pet. We're standing in Woolies in Catherine in 1998 when the big flood came right through this door. And guess what they found in the pet aisle? A crocodile. Doing a price check. Yeah. The Stewart Highway South is just one continual straight road. And after six hours, we decided to pull into this free camp for an overnight stop. was a huge engineering feat. There are four telegraph stations, Tennant Creek being one of them, in such an isolated area. This site is immaculately looked after and has been preserved beautifully. This is the underground cellar where all the food was kept. It was dug below ground level and this area here, they had a hessian bag which um, they kept watered and it kept everything cool. Another long drive along the straight Stewart Highway, we came across the Devil's Marbles. What a spectacular sight it is.
each Aboriginal warrior overlooks the town of Aylwa. The town has its own pub and it's quite quirky and a caravan park as well. After our trip to this special toilet, we're now off to Alice Springs. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and share it with your friends.